This guide shows you how to reset your Windows 11 PC if you've been having problems with it. Details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So if you've been having problems with your Windows 11 PC and really can't solve them, then the last step to try is to reset it back to factory settings. Now, Microsoft do give you the option to keep your personal files, but it does remove a lot of apps from the system. And I'd always say, even though Microsoft give you the option to keep your files, back them up regardless, just in case something goes wrong, because if it does go wrong, then you could end up losing it. And let's face it, if there's already problems on the PC, the chances are higher than usual that even doing a reset may cause further problems. So what I would suggest is make sure you've got all your software that you need to reinstall. Make sure that you've got any passwords for things like emails, logins to Facebook, social, other social media sites. Google, YouTube, Yahoo, whatever, whatever you regularly log into, you will have a password for. Even though the computer might have saved it, that will probably get lost. So make sure that you've got any passwords you may need to log yourself back into website services and emails. As I said earlier, also make sure that you've got a backup of anything important. Make sure that it's backed up away from the PC to a external hard drive or a uh, USB stick. And another thing it's worth doing is making yourself a recovery drive. Just in case the recovery process fails, you may well need that to recover your PC. So you, I would recommend getting a 32 gigabyte stick. That's a 32 GB stick. They're not really that expensive nowadays. Get yourself one of those plug it into the computer, click on the start button just there, and then just type recovery, okay? And as you type recovery, one of the options should be there, recovery drive. Click on recovery drive, okay? Click on yes, and then insert your 32 gigabyte USB stick. Now it will wipe everything off of the stick, so make sure that you've got nothing important on it first of all. Make sure that this backup system files to the recovery drive is ticked, and then once you've done that, click next, and just basically follow the instructions on the screen. Now it could take more than an hour to create, create the recovery drive, but it's worth doing. It won't back up your files, I must point that out. It won't back up your files, it won't back up your passwords, it won't back up your programs. It basically will give you a copy of Windows 11 on a stick so that you can reinstall if there are any problems with the inbuilt reset process. Make sure that you've got your recovery drive, make sure that you've got all software that you need to reinstall, make sure you've got all passwords, and most importantly, make sure you've got any important files, folders, music, pictures, videos, downloads, anything on the desktop that's important to you, make sure you've got a copy of that because there's a possibility you could lose everything. So as I say, I've got a few files on here. If I go into the downloads folder, there you go, I've got quite a few downloads in there. In the documents, I've got a few documents, I've got a folder in there as well. In my pictures, I've got a few pictures in there and a few folders. In music, I've got one album in music and in videos, there you go, I've got a folder and I've got a video there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the PC. Uh, I'm gonna see what happens if it keeps those. Also, it's worth pointing out, I'm just gonna go into Microsoft Edge. I've set my home page to go to my web page. I've also got a couple of favorites up there. So that's my home page and my YouTube page. And if I go into Google Chrome as well, that as well goes to my web page. And again, in the favorites, I've got my home page, oh, sorry, my web page and my YouTube page in there as bookmarks. I've also got installed Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, OneNote, Publisher and Outlook. So Outlook for my emails. And let's just see what it keeps and what it doesn't after I've done the reset. So to do the reset, I'm gonna click on the start button and then I'm gonna click on settings. And then once settings comes up, I'm gonna click on system and just scroll down to recovery. 
and then click on recovery. And then I'm gonna click on reset PC. Now, if you're struggling to get that far, you can click on the start button and just type reset and it'll come up under best match after a few seconds, reset this PC. So left click that, that's just another short way of doing it. Once you're here, you have got a few options. So there is this guide here, fix problems without resetting your PC. So that this um, basically tries to resolve any problems you've got. You might have a go back option if you've upgraded to a later version of Windows 11 or if you've indeed upgraded to Windows 11 in the last 10 days, then that go back option will be there. But after 10 days, it won't be there. And if anything, if you've done a cleanup of the system as well with any cleanup tools, then again, that might be lost as well. You've also got advanced startup to change startup settings to try and resolve problems yourself. But generally, if you're in your PC, then uh, then I don't think using that is going to resolve any problems. So, like I say, it might be worth trying to fix the problems without resetting the PC first. If that doesn't work, then click on reset PC. And here we go. So we get choose an option. So we can either keep all your files or you can say remove everything. Now, I would say first of all, keep my files. Even though you've got a backup of your files, say keep my files because then you've got two backups, haven't you? So if your backup hasn't worked on your external drive or your USB stick, then hopefully this will work. So let's just click keep my files. So it says they're getting things ready. This won't take long. So it says, how would you like to reinstall Windows? Well. If you've got an internet connection, you can get it to download Windows from Microsoft. That is known as the cloud download. Now, it does take more than four gigabytes of data. So if you're on a limited data plan, then it is gonna gobble up your data. Most people in the UK now are on unlimited. And I think that's true across the globe. But if you are on a mobile data plan or a, a limited plan, then go for local reinstall. Also, a cloud download will take longer because it's got to download the files from the internet. So if you've got a particularly slow internet speed, then again, avoid using that and click local reinstall. In this instance, I'm gonna do a local reinstall. Now, what I would suggest is try a local reinstall first. If that doesn't work, then try a cloud download. So let's just click on local reinstall. Okay, so it just sums up our settings. So it says current settings, reinstall Windows from this device. So if we wanted to change it now to cloud, if we changed our mind, so I wouldn't want to cloud download, we can click on change settings and uh, we can say, download Windows, reinstall from this device, or yes, download and reinstall Windows. So I'm gonna leave it at no for the moment, but if I change my mind and I want to download and reinstall Windows from the cloud, I could select yes. So let's just leave that at no, and then click confirm. It's brought us back to this additional settings page, so I'm just gonna click next on here. And there you go, again, it says getting things ready. This won't take long, it will take a while. Don't know why Microsoft always say it won't take long, because when, they, when you see that, this won't take long it usually does take a long time. In actual fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it at the next stage. Okay, so it says ready to reset this PC. Resetting will change settings back to their defaults. In this instance, it's gonna keep our personal files. It's gonna reinstall Windows from this device because I selected the local reinstall and it's gonna remove all apps and programs. So we can click this here to see what apps will be removed. So if I click on that, there you go, it's told us it's gonna remove Google Chrome, it's gonna remove Microsoft 365, it's gonna remove Edge, Edge Web, uh, Web View 2 runtime, OneDrive, Teams, and Microsoft Visual C++, all the different um, versions there, Oracle VM, VirtualBox guest add-ons, and Teams machine-wide installer. So this confirms what it's going to remove, what we're going to need to reinstall if we need to reinstall them again, if, if, sorry, if you still want to keep them after the computer's been reset. So I'm just going to click back there. And if we wanted to back out now, we can click cancel. But if we're ready to go, so I'm going to click reset. And there's a final note there. It says this will take a while and your PC will restart. So, and if we want to learn more about the reset, we can click on this learn more about reset and that will take you to the web page to give you more information about how to use the reset and, and what it does. So, okay, I'm happy. 
I've backed up my files, I've got all my passwords, I've got all my software to reinstall, I know what's going to be removed, I've got my email password, I'm set, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to click reset here. Now, like I say, before you do this, make sure that you've got the means to reset everything back up. So you've got your software, you've got all your passwords, you've backed up your computer so that you've got all of your personal files backed up. So, okay, if the answer to, 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 to all those questions is yes, I'm happy to proceed, click on reset. So there you go, it's preparing now. Now this bit's gonna take a while. I'm gonna pause the video whilst this is happening because it is gonna take a while and uh, the, the computer will restart and it might restart several times during this process. So uh, just leave it let it do what it needs to do. It could take uh, quite a while. I have known some computers, especially if they're slow, to take more than 24 hours. So please be aware of that. So uh, don't, once it's restarted, don't try and back out of it. Don't try and power off your computer because you could end up causing more problems. So there you go, I'm gonna pause this and we're gonna come back to it shortly. Okay, so as you can see, the PC's restarted and it's now saying resetting this PC. Now this bit might take a while. Once again, it might look as though it's got stuck. If it does, just leave it. I know that during the reset process, it will get to certain percentages like it has now at 13% on mine and it's not moving, but the little circle's going round, so that should mean that it is still doing something. So just be patient with it. Okay, so we're now at the next part of the installation. So it's reset, it's now installing. And as it says, it says your computer may restart a few times. So again, just be patient with this bit. It might look as though it's hung at times, but if that circle's still spinning round, then it is still doing something. Okay, so the computer's restarted a few times and it's nearly finished installing. Okay, so it's come up on the screen. This might take a few minutes. It's just setting it up. So uh, like it says, it could take a few minutes, but we're nearly there now. Okay, so the computer's restarted. It's reset. Let's see what we're left with. So I've still got my shortcut to my photos on the desktop there. Let's just go into the yellow folders and see what else I've got. It's actually also, it's kept, I've just realized, it's kept my background as well. So, which I didn't expect it to keep. So let's just go into the downloads folder, see if my downloads are still there. Yep, it does look like they're all still there. If I go into documents, I'm a documents there. Yes, they are there, but the uh, the Word and the Excel documents I can't open because it does look like Word and Excel and PowerPoint, Outlook, my emails, all that have been removed. No bother, I c I've got the password to re-download that so I can re-download and reinstall that. My pictures, let's go in there. Yeah, my pictures seems to have stayed. If it's going to music, yep, yeah, my music uh, album in there has stayed and it's going to videos and yes my video has stayed there let's go back to the desktop microsoft edge that's still on there and i've got a list of removed apps let's just go into microsoft edge incidentally just to see if it's kept any of my settings well it doesn't look like it's kept my home page so far but it's asking me to uh, to sign in now if you did sign in originally to sync your data then when you sign in again hopefully it should bring all your settings back but if you didn't sign in with a microsoft account then uh, they probably won't be there so i'm just gonna not sign in no no it looks like it has put my home page back to uh, the standard home page and it's gone back to the welcome my favorites let's just check the favorites and no, the favorites have gone from the favorites bar as well. But like I say, if you originally signed in with a Microsoft account on Edge and you set it to sync your uh, settings, then if you sign in again, just by clicking on that up there or signing when it prompts you or click sign in to sync data, then hopefully that should restore everything back. So 
Here's a list of removed apps. So if I double click that, it should open up Edge and give me a list of all the removed apps. And that's what it pre-warned me it was going to remove. So Google Chrome, Microsoft 365, Edge it removed, OneDrive, Teams, Visual C++, Oracle VM and Teams Machine Wide Installer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to reinstall Edge, uh, sorry, Chrome. Let's just see if um, when I reinstall it, that also brings back my settings. It probably won't, but it's worth a try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna download Chrome and reinstall. Again, if you signed into Chrome with a Google account and let it sync your data, then all you have gotta do is once you've reinstalled Chrome is sign in again with the same Google account and hopefully it'll bring that all back. If, if this doesn't work, let's just try it. So I'm just gonna click yes on that. And here we go, it's starting to download and install. And here we go, Chrome has started. So it doesn't look like it's kept my homepage. I'm just gonna look at bookmarks. Um, no, it hasn't kept my bookmarks either. So, but like I say, if you were signed in with a Google account, then just click on the head in the top right hand corner there and then click turn on sync and just follow the instructions to sign in again. So there you go, that guide showed you how you can reset your PC, Windows 11. It should also be the same principle in Windows 10 too, and I think Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 as well. I hope you like this video, and if you did, why not stick around? Have a look, I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.